What's that? It appears to be a checkpoint. This is my fault. The Vanguard's doing this to catch me. We'll have to find another way around. But I'm sure they'll be checking everywhere. Leave this to me. Um... What's that? It's an Iron Maiden. Marta, please get inside. It's the same thing Dex has. Why do you have one of these? This is a good luck charm from Lezareno Mystic Supply, a subsidiary of the Lezareno Company. I make charms myself, and Lezareno Mystic Supply wanted to collaborate. They sent me this as a sample. Dex said he got that thing by mail order. Just out of curiosity, when you say good luck charms, what sort of effects are we talking about? They say that if you put a hair from someone you love inside here, 765 days later, you'll find happiness together. Perseia, is there someone you have in mind? That is a secret. But why do you have this Iron Maiden with you? I brought it to Altamira so I could return their sample. But it was impossible with the city under Vanguard control, so I hid it in the bushes here. I can hardly believe I'm saying this, but Marta, maybe you should get inside this thing. What? But they'll know I'm in there the second they open the lid! It'll be okay. All right. Um, can I help you carry that? I'm fine. Let's go. We live in Ozette. May we pass? What's that you've got with you? This is my Iron Maiden. It's a good luck charm. Let's see what's inside, then. No, you... You'll be cursed. <gasps> a terrible curse will befall anyone who opens this Iron Maiden before it grants its wish. First, you'll experience stomach-churning sickness and diarrhea for 77 straight hours. Then, for the following 777 days, the King of Demons will appear and stick his finger up your nose every single day. But if you're alright with that, go ahead and open it and be cursed. <laughs> you think I'd fall for that? I understand. Please, the curse is all yours. I don't mind. <sighs> go ahead. No, that's okay. Go on through. All right, then. That was most impressive, Prisea. I was so worried he was gonna open it. My heart's still racing. This Iron Maiden actually has an internal lid. To anyone who opens it normally, it will appear empty. Really? I had no idea. A dwarf named Altessa lives up ahead. We can take refuge in his house. This is Altessa's house. So what's Altessa like? He's a dwarf, right? Is he like Dirk? You've met Dirk? Uh, yeah, I have. You see... So that's how you ended up with Sheena. But I wonder what Lloyd is trying to accomplish all by himself. It worries me. <sighs> Marta, are you tired? Uh, no, not at all. I'm fine. You sure? 
Let's head in and meet Altessa. So, Prisea, what other sorts of good luck charms have you come up with? Soulmate shackles, hair today, hair tomorrow tonic, fess up ferns, the marry me wand. Hey, Aunt Flora had one of those. Anything else? An outfit that, despite having a bare midriff, never allows your skin to get cold and also protects against enemy attacks. I call it the Lonnie Kyle. Oh, I've heard of that. That was a big hit, but then it faded fast, right? It was a tough sell. Was that everything? There was a mask that hid your face without actually hiding it, but still mysteriously prevented anyone from realizing your real identity. I called it the Judas Mask. Haven't heard of that one. It was stolen while still in development, and the project had to be called off. It was my proudest achievement. A real loss. You came up with all that stuff? You're incredible! So you're not from Altamira, right? No, I'm from Ozette. Where exactly is that? It's just on the other side of the Garakia Forest, but only a handful of people live there now. Why's that? The town was destroyed once. The land was never considered very desirable, and the village had a reputation for opposing the Church of Martell. So people have been reluctant to move back. That's terrible. However, my friends are helping out. I know the village will recover someday. Right now, it's in no state for visitors, but I'll give you a tour someday. Yeah, I'd like that. Mr. Fairy? Are you referring to me? I am not a fairy. I am a centurion. Okay. Mr. Tenaby? Mr. Tenaby? Well, that's new. Whoa! W w what are you doing? Why are you grabbing my leg? You have no paw pads. Paw pads? Shall I make some? Wow. Poke, 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 poke. Th that tickles. Stop. I, I beg you. I can't take any more. Who is it? It's Persea from Ozette. Persea? And who's that you've got with you? My name is Emil. I'm Marta. I am Centurion Tenebrae. Pleased to meet you. These are all friends of Regal and Sheena. I see. So what brings you all the way out here? Altamira has been occupied by the Vanguard. What? They've captured Regal. Sheena stayed behind in Altamira to rescue him. Sheena asked me to get these two out of the city and take them to a safe place. So you brought them here? Yes. I am planning on taking them to Mizuho. But I expect the Vanguard to be on high alert right now, so... I see. Well, you may stay here as long as you like. Thank you. Now what's all that commotion outside? It could be the Vanguard. Let's go and see. the same Iron Maiden from before. All right then, search this house. Magnar? Why is he here? Isn't he with the Church of Martell? It seems he was only pretending to be a Martell Knight. The incidents in Lewin and Palma Costa were most likely part of an elaborate Vanguard scheme to cast blame on the Church of Martell. Marta, did you know Magnar was with the Vanguard? I had no idea. Prisea? We can't stay here. We're putting Altessa in danger. Yes, that's true. I'm going to. <gasps> Lady Marta! So you've finally given up. Excellent. Now you can return to your father in the Vanguard. I won't allow that to happen. I intend to keep my promise to Sheena. 
What? A child like you is going to stop me? You'll regret meddling in the affairs of the Vanguard. Now die quickly! Come on! Ah. Roaring Spear! Why did the Vanguard invade Altamira? What are they trying to do? Even if you knew, there's nothing you could do to stop it. Just tell me! Commander Brute is planning to announce the revival of the Silverot Dynasty in Altamira. So what? The death of Allah's royal army will just go and crush them, and that's the end of that! Unfortunately, I don't think that's likely to happen in Altamira. The Lezareno Company's headquarters are located there. They'd have more than enough food and supplies to hold out for a long time. <laughs> That's right. And our supporters are staging revolts around the world as we speak. That should keep the royal army's hands full. Then, once we have Ratatosk's core, we'll use the Mana Cannon to give the Tetha Alans the divine punishment they deserve. But why? What will that accomplish? It's the only way the Silveranti will be able to win against Tetha Allah's advanced civilization. We can't let our people be persecuted like half-elves. The Vanguard sure is a troublesome lot. We should head for Mizuho as soon as we can. We'll be... Yes.
You've still got Ratatosk's core. The most important thing you can do right now is run. I understand. But what about Regal? I'm sure my friends will sort things out. Friends? Altessa, you should leave here as well. It's not safe. You don't need to worry about me. That Magnar fellow still got some life left in him. I think I'll tie him up and keep an eye on him. But you'd best hurry to Mizoho as soon as you can. Yes. seem to be low. Are you tired? N no that's not it. I just... Are you worried about all those revolts Magnar was talking about? The bigger Vanguard becomes, the more it seems like it's turning into some rampaging monster. How can something I helped create have gone so wrong? What should I do? That I do not know. But Sheena said to make sure the two of you were taken to safety. I believe that means your safety is important to resolve these problems. She's right, Marta. Staying here and worrying about it won't give you answers. The only thing we know for sure is that we can't let them get Ratatosk's core. <sighs> it's like our roles are now reversed. Huh? When I first met you, I was always the one trying to cheer you up. Now I'm the one with no confidence and you're getting stronger. Maybe, but it's only thanks to you and everyone else. I'll lend you my strength when you're feeling down. <laughs> Mew. Cannon really that powerful? Yes, it was originally developed to destroy the Tower of Salvation. I doubt there is any weapon more powerful. In our last journey, we used it to stop the giant tree when it threatened to destroy the world. It was Sheena's responsibility to fire the cannon. The giant tree that killed my mother was stopped by the Mana Cannon. Then the cannon must be immensely powerful. I mean, it toppled a tree that covered the entire world. Yes. If such a weapon fell into the wrong hands, it could easily wipe out a town or two. We'll never let something like that happen. Never. Who goes there? Orochi. It's been a while. Prisea, who do you have with you? Sheena asked me to bring them to Mizuho. You spoke with the chief. Is she all right? Well, you see... Wait, we should discuss this at Elder Igaguri's place. We have other visitors who might like to hear. Visitors? Yes, Rain and Genus are here. Really? Uh, yes. You are acquainted with Rain? They apparently traveled with her before. I see. Anyway, you can give us the full story at the Elder's house. I'll see you there. This town has a different air about it than the others we have visited. That is probably true. While it is located in Tetha'ala, the people living here have their own unique culture. So this is Sheena's hometown. I hope she's alright. I'm sure she is. 
Though she encountered many dangers on her previous journey, she always landed on her feet. We are all very lucky. It is the same luck that brought us together, so I'm confident things will work out. Thanks for saying that. It's odd. You're younger than me, but you feel like an older sister. Older sister? You can call me sister anytime you like. thinking about what Magnar said, about how Silverunt's less advanced society leaves him vulnerable to persecution by Teta Ons. Yeah. The worlds were united. Everyone is living together. So why is it still like that? They're scared. Huh? People reject those who are different and assume that the world they know is all that exists. As a result, they are unable to understand other points of view. Those thoughts lead to fear, and that fear leads to war. Uh. I believe that our ability to travel together despite our differences is due to the efforts we make to understand one another. I think you're right. On that note, let me take this opportunity to once again explain the magnificence of darkness. No! Just as we thought, it's happening in other cities as well. Rain! Genus! Prisea? And Emil and Marta, too! What are you doing here? I brought these two with me from Altamira at Sheena's request. Altamira? Why were you in Altamira? Dreadful things have happened, you see. So that's what happened. You three were wise to come here. It's just as Magnar said. The Vanguard is instigating violent uprisings in cities around the world. Death to all Tether Islands! For the pride of Silverant! Rise up against Tether Alla! Long live the Silverant dynasty! The political situation was already unstable after the world unification. The Vanguard is fanning the flames of the populace's dissatisfaction with the Tetha Islands and the Church of Martell. And there's no way to stop the revolts. What about Tetha Alla's royal army? I'm sure they have their hands full with just the Tetha Alla cities. And if the Martell Knights try to put down the riots, it will only increase the intensity of the Vanguard's opposition. It doesn't help that there's still no unified government in Silverant. This isn't the sort of thing that a City Watch could handle by itself. And they are planning on using a Mana Cannon. If they get that capability, not even the Royal Army could stand against them. Let's report all of this to Elder Igaguri. If the Vanguard needs Ratatosk's core, then we still have a chance. Right.
Persea? It's been a genus. It has been a while. Persea. Um, I. I. Ozette? Yes. Thanks to your help, Ozette is on its way to recovery. M -m Miss? Yes. With the support provided by Lezareno Mystic Supply, life in the village has returned to normal. Persea, your ability to translate Genus's stuttering has improved immensely. Thank you. I'm used to it now. The enemy plans to use a mana cannon to attack a Tetha Alan city. If it comes to that, I have no doubt that the target would be Mel Tokyo. If the mana cannon is as powerful as the one Sheena used, it could easily blow away an entire city. Once they get their hands on Ratatosk's core, it's all over. Exactly. So we need to concentrate on Altamira and not the revolts in other cities. The Vanguard commander is stationed there right now. If a group as inexperienced as the Vanguard loses its leader, the rest of the organization will likely fall apart. If I understand you correctly, you're suggesting that we go after the Vanguard's commander. But Rain, the Vanguard's commander is Marta's father. I'm not saying that we have to kill him. Even if we captured him alive, after all of the things he's done, he may be executed. Marta. I understand. My father has done terrible things. Please, don't worry about me. Then we should send our units into Altamira as soon as possible. Count me in. Me too. I would also like to help. I'm sure I could be of service. Uh, I... Emil, you stay here and protect Marta. Why? As long as Ratatosk's core is safe, the worst-case scenario will not happen, so we must keep it that way. We cannot afford any delays. Make the necessary preparations immediately. All right, let's go and get ready. doing the right thing? What do you mean? They'll capture Daddy, then they'll dismantle the Vanguard. Then we can wake up Ratatosk. Are you really okay with that? Well, what other way is there? You don't want to try talking with your father? Daddy won't listen to what I have to say. You heard him. He just won't listen. Then why did you go to the trouble of running away from the Vanguard? What? You said that you could never forgive your father's way of doing things. You were a member of the Vanguard yourself, and yet you're letting others do the most important work for you. You're okay with that? Then are you saying I should go fight my own father? No, I'm saying you should try talking with him. Just because it didn't work the first couple of times doesn't mean there's no hope at all. Root's your father. If someone else captures him, then that's it. That's the end. Are you really going to be okay with that? He's still your father. <sighs> Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. Courage is what helped me make true friends. That's why I'm giving my courage to you. Let's go to Altamira. Regal's there and Sheena as well. They both saved us when we needed them. And you need to talk to your father. Emil! The Vanguard is attacking. Everyone's at the village entrance right now, holding them back. You have to get out of here. We may have to give up the village. Emil, we can handle this. 
Go to Elder Igaguri's house. Look out! I won't let you into this village! Who's next? gone against me. There's no end to this! <sighs> they were after you like this the first time we met. You remember? Once you wake up Ratatosk, the Vanguard won't be able to do anything. That's... But Brute has Solemn's core. You won't be able to wake up Ratatosk if you keep running from Brute. <sighs> Come on! Receive the judgment of the iridescent <laughs> <light>. <laughs>
It looks like the enemy withdrew for now. Are you still gonna keep running? Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. I want to see Daddy one more time. Are you serious? The Vanguard is after Ratatosk's core, remember? Yes, I know. But it's just... This whole time, I haven't done anything but run away. But you've been trying to wake up Ratatosk. That was just a roundabout way of stalling the Vanguard. I was afraid to face my father. He had changed, so I just ran away from him. You're not afraid anymore? I'm afraid, but Emil shared his courage with me. Emil, and the other Emil too. Thank you. My other self said something to you? Yes, he did. Please, let me go to Altamira. Well, either way, the Vanguard knows that Marta's here. I don't really see a problem with her accompanying you. I think so too. We can protect her. Rain, what do you think? You're against it, right? Oh, why would I be against it? Then it's okay. To tell the truth, I'd prefer to leave you behind. Huh? Never mind. Marta, you can come with us. Thank you. Then it's settled. I'll leave Marta with you and we can meet up later in front of Altamira. <laughs>